Bye bye, boy. Hey y'all, I'm taking her up to taking my old girl up to Newton's and Tudor. Gonna get the old E350 Super Duty tuned up. So uh, I reckon I ain't got a whole lot to do today. So when I get back home, I think I might uh, shoot a little video on uh, on uh, sensors on a on a defrost board on a heat pump. My American Standard out back. All right, y'all. Hey y'all. Uh, got a little time today, and I figured I might uh, show y'all a little bit on how to. Uh, uh, test, test sensors here in the uh, American Standard Heritage 13 uh, heat pump here. Uh, we've got two sensors in here. This is a uh, on-demand uh, defrost board we have on here. And uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is kill the unit. Boy, would you go help me? Okay, run on play. On play. All right, y'all. We've got the uh, the high voltage off here, and what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, test our uh, our coil sensor, and we're going to test our ambient sensor. And these two sensors have to be in calibration for the for the uh, defrost to work correctly. Um, our coil sensor is actually right here, and it uh, senses the temperature off the coil. Our ambient sensor is right here, and it's actually right here just checking our uh, outside temperature. All right, y'all, well, so what we need to do first is uh, we're going to uh, use our uh, HVAC guide here that uh, Darwin was so kind to send me. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our, our ambient temperature outside. And these are basically, they're thermistors, and they, act to, uh, they have a specific resistance at a specific temperature, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to let this stabilize for a minute. Um, looks like we're around 53, probably going to be around 54, 55 degrees today. But uh, let's let this uh, set for a minute so we can get our true blue temperature. And uh, then I'll come back and I'll show you how to test these. Okay, y'all. Okay. She's hovering around 54 to 55, uh, high 54s. But I uh, hope y'all can see that, man. I'm going to have to update my camera. But... Uh, Anyway, um, now we're ready to uh, do our next test. We, uh, now we know what temperature, and the temperature is going to correspond with the resistance. Okay, so let me get my uh, meter set up, and I'll show you how to test it. All right, y'all. Y'all, since we've uh, done our first procedure, which was uh, getting the ambient temperature right here at our unit, right here at our ambient and, uh, and uh, coil sensor, uh, we're going to uh, remove our ambient sensor. Then we're going to remove our coil sensor. <clears throat> and we're going to test our ambient sensor first. And if you look down here in this plug here, uh, the hole, it's really small holes in it. And if you go jobbing your, uh, your probes down in there, you're going to wind up tearing your plug up. So to access our pins, what I've done was a little, little trick I learned a long time ago was uh, you just take you some thermostat wire and put you some pigtails on your alligator clips. And uh, you just push, put them down in here. So uh, it's going to be hard for me to do it one hand. So hold on, bear with me one. Okay, we've got our uh, our thermostat wire, our piggybacks right in inside our plug of our uh, ambient sensor. And uh, what we're going to do is, like I said, this is uh, the reason we did our first test and got our ambient temperature outside here was because it's going to be these are thermistors and this is going to be a resistance to temperature test okay so what we're going to do to do this we're going to go to ohms okay we're in the ohms position and i know that uh off my chart that 55 degrees give or take i should be at uh uh, roughly 16,000 ohms, 17, well, I think it's it's actually 17,000 ohms. So we're at, uh, I don't know if y'all can see that, we're at 16,410 ohms right there. Okay, so we're in, we're, we're, we're perfect, we're right in the ballpark, you know, because it wasn't exactly 55. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's test our coal sensor. So just bear with me one second, y'all. Sorry, Sorry down touching these pins. And we do. And uh, we've got her set to ohms. And our coil sensor is reading uh, 16,520 ohms. Okay. All right, y'all. 
uh, our coal, our ambient sensor and our coil sensor is just fine. Okay y'all we've uh, determined our ambient uh, uh, sensor was good and we determined our coil sensor was great and uh, what we're going to do now while we've got them off <clears throat> there's another test we can perform to see if the board's good. Um, you see our two pins we got sticking out here this is for the ambient and this is for the uh, for the coil sensors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test these. Uh, a lot of the younger fellers on here that got steady hands could probably get their probes in there nice and easy but uh, I don't want to uh, ground nothing out so I'm going to uh, put my alligator clips on it. So just bear with Shaky Malone and I'll be right okay, back. I've got my appropriate, uh, got my alligator clips on the appropriate terminals for the ambient. In this test here this is going to be a DC voltage test. Okay, we test these in DC, and this should be roughly five to six volts DC. So let's go DC. If we weren't getting any voltage here at all and there was power applied, we'd have to replace the board. And that's pretty daggone close to five. All right, y'all, let's uh, test our... Uh, our coil sensor pins. Just bear with me, I gotta put them clips on there. I wanna be careful. I always try to ensure up when I do the first one, I'll pull my boot back a little bit and I ensure I get that boot all the way over it so I don't have the other alligator clip uh, hitting the other alligator clip. All right, y'all. Okay, y'all, I have my uh, alligator clips on my appropriate terminals. This one, this is going to be the uh, the pins coming off the, uh, the uh, coil sensor here. And the same as the other, we should be getting uh, uh, five to six DC volts. Let's pull her to DC. Let's see what we get. All right, like I said, if we weren't getting any DC voltage, DC voltage here, five to six DC voltage, we'd have a bad board. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. We got her back. Red Rock. Hey, y'all. Got old Rachel back. She seems to be running just fine. I'm heading back to the house. Uh, I wish I could have got y'all some more video on that uh, heat pump defrost board, but uh, there's always next time. So uh, next time I'm going to try to shoot a uh, uh, demand defrost, force it into defrost, and uh, actually show y'all how to test out that Molex plug on there to uh, you know determine if the board's good or bad but uh, I appreciate y'all watching here's my turn we'll holler at you soon bye